<laughs> Sorry, I posted, <laughs> posted it too much before I spoke then. Um, this is a uh, video, obviously. Um, I've not been on here for ages, so I just thought I'd come in and uh, I thought I'd just come in and uh, check in and say hello, just make sure that everybody's um, okay. Um, I'm doing a product review um, of the Gosh uh, eyeshadow base. Okay. I've had this a couple of months now. Um, and from what I've seen of it so far, I'm actually really, really pleased with it. I do have um, I, I do have a pram potion on today actually. I've, I, what I do is I switch between both of them. I actually got this before I got the pram potion, um, and basically because I couldn't afford to buy the pram potion, so I thought, well, I'll try this in the interim. And both of these products are really good. I don't I don't whoops <laughs> I don't really have much sort of to choose between them to be honest. But I'm just going to review the Gosh Eyeshadow Base because I know that there will be a, a million and one people that will have reviewed the Primer Potion on here. I'm not going to do it again. Um, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to review the Gosh one instead. Um, I think it was something like 5 or 6.95 and it's from, uh, well, the stock Gosh Cosmetics in Superdrug or you've got the Gosh website. So it's called the Gosh Eyeshadow uh, Base. Um, and obviously it's in a black tube. I'll just take the lid off. Now when you look at this, I weren't actually sure when I got, I looked at it in the shop and thought well I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, basically it twists up and you've got like a, it's like a white, it's a white stick. Now when I put it on, I thought oh I'm not really sure about this, but when I looked at it, it's actually, you put it on and it's actually, it's actually iridescent, I don't know if you can see on there. Okay, so I'm going to just blend it in. Okay. Now what it does is obviously it's a base and when you blend it in it just leaves a very pale iridescent sort of coating on the on the eyelid. I'm just blending a little bit more onto the back of my hand. Okay, I don't think you can quite you can just see there's a bit of a sheen on the back of my hand. And I wasn't sure, when I saw the iridescence I thought, oh I don't know if this is going to work or not, but once it's blended, I kind of put it on my eyelid and obviously blend it up to my brow bone, and it really does last, I don't get any crease into my eyeshadows, and I really, really like it, I'm, I'm really kind of impressed with it. Um, I'm not quite sure how much grammage you get, oh yeah, 2.5 grams, which is 0 0.1 ounce US, um, and I just like the convenience of it, I like the way it twists up, I like the fact that it's just a nice stick, I like the fact that it just blends in really, really easily. I thought it would, you would, it would have to stay on white, but it doesn't. So I'm going to just show it here again, and then just blend it. Okay. And I've tried it with the Ranger eyeshadows, I've tried it with the kind of dark metallic eyeshadows that I've got, I've tried it with pale shadows and it gives like a nice, in some of the in some of the metallics that I've got, it actually darkens the shadow um, a little bit, uh, but it does fix it really, really well. Um, so yeah, I mean it's a hit as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's great. Um, I'll catch you in a minute because I'm going to post um, another review on the Batiste Dry Hair Shampoo. Okay, take care. Bye. -bye.